night. So, what means I I know God? Uh, uh, there unite between knower and the mm. object of the knowledge. Mm. So, actually, what what the meanings of unite here? Unite means that you are not always the knower. You becomes knower. When you become knower, you are yes. uniting yourself so, with the outward. So if I say, I know God, so I become... How you know God? You know, the Mullah Sadra says, Elme Huzuri. In Elme Huzuri, there is no distance. So when, when he uses the word, Fana Efella, it means that, yes, you are not God, but you have been like a drop in a water of motion, in a water of... Uh, ocean annihilated in the ocean of his existence now whether you are him what is the what is the relation of a drop of water when it is annihilated in the ocean of existence in the ocean of water you see the difficulty <laughs> starts then you want to consider these issues, these subjects from philosophical point of view. The, all the, the starts, the difficulties start. Because, because in philosophy, whether we want or we don't want, whether we wish or we don't wish, there is man and his world and his outer existence. Even when you say this is presentational knowledge, knowledge by presence, elme huzuri, when you want to do, define it, when you want to give reason to support it, you, you will find difficulty. How can it be like that? This is why, this is why that this, this notion of union of the beloved, uh, of the knower and the known, of the no, elmo alim, the knowledge and the known, you will find in the early Sufism the unification of the beloved and love. Then you will get it better. How? Lover, as far as he is in love of his beloved, feels no, no distance. He is him. Man kiam leili o leili kist man. Ana man ahwa wa man ahwa ana Man kiam leiliyo in Persian Leili kist man Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? I am Majnun or I am Leila His beloved Ma yeki ruhim and dar do badan We are same spirit in two, in two bodies So, so the love as a symbol of knowledge between the lover and the beloved is a good example of what Mullah Sadra says. Just replace the word knowledge with love. You will get it more. You will get it. In the, the relation of the lover with the beloved, if, if it is true love, the relation is that they are the same thing. If it is true love. There is a story in Masnavi. Somebody knocked at the door, Leili knocked at the door of Majnun. You know this story of Leili and Majnun is a common and famous story uh, to show the uh, relation of man with God. Relation of man with God. He used uh, in, in, uh, in Attar, in Molana, in Sanai, in Jami. In Jami, you will find several times using this story. And some, once Majnun goes, Majnun is the lover. And the word, the, the word Majnun is, is, is interesting because it means the possessed. Majnun means madman. Madman, Majnun, the possessed. It actually means the concept of possession in Christianity, the, the one that the Satan has entered, has possessed his whole soul. Majnun literally means the possessed. Majnun once knocked at the door of Leili and said to him, and Leili said, who are you at the door? Majnun said, I am. Leili said, go. 
who you are not allowed to enter to my house. Next time, he knocked at the door, Majnun knocked at the door of Lady, his beloved. And Lady said, who are you? Majnun said, you. Lady said, okay, come in. Then Majnun said, why? You didn't open first time the door. He said, because you said, I am at the door. You should say you are at the door. But Lady was there. He was not knocking at the door. He said, why you said I am at the door? You, are, you should say you are at the door. Why did you feel that I am, I am? I am who am I? <laughs> why did you feel? As soon as you feel that you are somebody, you are, not you are not lover. You should not feel that you are somebody. You should feel that you are the beloved. Then if you feel like that, you are welcome. Come into my home. Yes. Thank you. But I think that those stories with the knocking on the doors are, are pretty common. Yes. And how large. <laughs> and there are many, many variants. Yes. Yes. Oh, sorry. yes. In, in, the, in European literature, we usually he goes at the door, and but there is the problem of... Golden Mindas and Mandigate the Internet. Falling the... Throwing the... Jars. The jars. jars on the head of the beloved, the <laughs> on head of the lover from the <laughs> second or third floor. Then <laughs> through the <laughs> yes, and uh, so uh, I think the, I'm not going to tell you that Mullah Sadr was speaking about the relation of the lover and the beloved, and and interpret Mullah Sadr in a sexual way <laughs> before just. Just in the early Sufism, in the early Sufi literature, you will find that uh, how this ittahat, the point is what does this ittahat mean? This unification mean? Unification of the alim and ma'lum, nur and the elb and the known. Instead of using ittahat alim and ma'lum, they used ittahat ashiq and ma'ashuq. Union of the lover and the beloved. And I think it is, for us, it is more familiar than Ittahad Akhil al Yes, sir. Someone said that uh, the, the Muslims, you know, suffer, uh -huh. try to do something that the, the Islamic, the, the simplicity, simplicity of the Islamic teaching to be complicated, difficult to understand. <laughs> Yes. The, the, the Islamic teaching of the Prophet Muhammad is simplicity to understand. But the philosophers try to make it complicated to understand. <laughs> what, the problem, what is the aim of the uh, yes. Muslim philosophers? Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what was the trouble with them? <laughs> what was going on their head? Because he faced this philosophical transcendent of philosophy here in two weeks. That mm -hmm. all Just of this concern. by somebody in the Muslim uh, the first generation of the Muslim. I don't think don't talk like that. Yes. This is so complicated. Probably so much <laughs> And then the Muslim like um, I don't know the first uh Swahaba Swahaba, he didn't talk like that. Yes. You know <laughs> uh, <laughs> please pay attention to my words. It is more healthy <laughs> and more comfortable <laughs> to think like that. <laughs> No. This Islam is praying, fasting, and uh, enough. But it's, it's more comfortable and more easier and <laughs> more healthy because then you engage in these problems, you become unhealthy. I have become unhealthy. So <laughs> it's no, more... No, you see. Yes. It, you know, I, I usually... I usually... <laughs> It, when I think for myself and how we have complicated this matter, yes, you are right that okay. why we have complicated this. But this is human being because, uh, because uh, I don't think that any Muslim just should confine himself just to pray and says, yes, I'm Muslim and it is finished. So it's, it's comfortable, but... <laughs> uh, other, uh, yesterday, I was 
the talk, try to talk about the, the religious experience of the five grand, five grand, my grandfather, grandmother. Yes, he pray and he do and he don't do anything that uh, prohibiting. <laughs> yes, but prefer uh, the uh, philosopher try to do, so communicating, but I don't know sure. Yeah, uh, he he do prohibit or not. Uh, we are not sure that we have namaz or not namaz. Uh, we try to namaz. Uh, namaz uh, so namaz in Thailand. <laughs> but um, we not sure that the, like the, the uh, philosopher like that he he do the prohibited or he don't do. He don't know. Mm, he don't know. Yeah. Uh, yes, but uh, then I would ask you if it was enough just to pray. Then why did the Prophet said, Go to find knowledge even if it is in China. You know that at that time China was the far, far away. Far, far away. For what? To know he, he recommended the Muslims go to find how they should pray? Yes. Just pray, no problem. But in China, <laughs> in China not to find the, the religious experience. Yes, you know, but you cannot say, you cannot, uh, this, this way of thinking about Islam cannot be very much, uh, cannot satisfy many Muslim minds. And it is more healthy, I said to you, more, much more healthy. Hafiz, Hafiz in, in, Hafiz in his, the first Qazal of uh, Hafiz, the first Qazal of Hafiz, you know the famous Iranian poet is that, uh, um, I forgot the <laughs> There is no, t- uh, we should find Mr. Asqarit in his <laughs> book of the world. <laughs> This is his first Ghazal. Uh, yes, yes. Sorry, thank you. Uh, if I may ask a, a question, if it's uh, too broad or not interesting, so sorry for that. But the, the I have said very uninteresting uh, things myself, uh, no, so don't care about no, it. Uh, <laughs> so uh, one, one comment, and then it will lead uh, perhaps to the question, at least I hope so. Uh, because usually when um, it, you discuss or study or uh, uh, medieval uh, Muslim philosophy, especially medieval, I think it's always or almost always associated with similar philosophy in similar religion, for example, in Jewish. And it can be quite difficult to study medieval Muslim philosophy yes. without studying medieval Jewish or even Christian philosophy because they are so yes. deeply intertwined and yes. combined. It's sometimes very difficult what is Muslim and Jewish, I mean, on the conceptual level. To t- but so my question question could be the following one, <coughs> especially in Esfahan, which was uh, um, for a very long time a kind of stronghold of different faith, I, I think especially about Zoroastrianism yes. and, and Jews. And mm. According to some people, it's probably, I don't know how to formulate it, but the, the saying that uh, inhabitants of Esfahan are supposedly more Hasis uh, could yes. be connected to yes. this some yeah. but kind of... But we should uh, not say uh, it quite, you should say yeah. it quietly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> because I, of the Esfahan. Yeah, we did, say, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. says, what they say but, quietly. Well, <laughs> well, um, so the, the question could be, and of course, Henri Corbin, that was one of his favorite themes, uh, because uh, he, that was one of his big convictions, a kind of continuity of pre-Islamic Iran, yeah. and Islamic Iran, so to say. Um, and Judaism in Isfahan. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, and people say it is because of the Judaism, they are Hasis. <laughs> <laughs> but that's another topic. But uh, uh, if we take the simple case of, for example, Mullah Satra, um, 
What could you say, for example, uh, as regards the Ori Corbin's hypothesis? What could be your personal opinion? Sorry if the question is too broad. Thank yes, you. You mean my personal opinion about that, let's say, for example, when we refer to Mullah Sadra, we find the smell of Shiraz or a school of Isfahan in his thought, or the city of Isfahan, and the, the cultures, different cultures living, living at that time in his thought. Are you talking about this? Yes, I, uh -huh. I think so. Thank yes, you. yes, you are right. I should tell you because let me give you examples. Sohrevardi. Sohrevardi lived in a village called Sohrevard. Still, there is a village called Sohrevard in uh, near Maroke. I think yes. Zanjan and Maroke. At that time, at that time, Sohrevard was one of the rare cities who has not been, the people of the country has not been converted into Islam. Mm -hmm. There were many Zoroastrians. So the Zoroastrian tradition var, was still alive at that time there. I mean, this is why that you will find Sohrevardi, Sohrevardi sympathies with the pre-Islamic culture of Iran. In Shiraz, in Shiraz, you will find the taste of Shiraz on Mullah Sadra. I'm using this word taste deliberately because in Shiraz, it's famous for the people of Shiraz that they are all poets, whether or not, whether they want it or not. So they said, my mother also is from Shiraz. We used to say that, please, <laughs> Are you a poetess or not? So it, it is famous of the cities and uh, that, and you cannot deny the effect of this cultural, uh, cultural elements in the thought of people like Mullah Sadra or the, yes, I, I, I agree with you. Uh -huh. You see, I was, I was, oh, there are more. I will read it. Good, it's good for the, for the <laughs> last words, it's good to read poetry of Hafiz. Yes, Forget about my last I don't read this. <laughs> 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 this is, this comes from what, as you said, this comes from my mother, from Shiraz, so I should read Hafiz. <laughs> الایا ایو حساقی عدل که اصلا و ناول ها که اش قاسان نمود اول ولی افتاد مشکل ها If you can find the translation it's difficult for me to translate it and I, uh, I, I don't want to translate it actually because I, you will lose the everything in the poetry به بوی نافی کاخر سبا زان تور بک شاید ز تا به جعد مشکینش چه خون افتاد در دلها به می سجاده رنگین کن گرد پیر مغان گوید که سالک بی خبر نبود ز راه و رسم منزلها مرا در منزل جانان چه امن ایش چون هر دم جرس فریاد بنی دارد که بر بندید محملها شب تاریک و بیم موج و گردابی چون این حایل کجا دانند حال ما سبکباران ساحل ها همه کار امز خودکامی به بدنامی کشید آخر نهان کی ماند آن رازی که زو سازند محفل ها حضوری گر همی خواهی از او قایب مش و حافظ متا ما تلق من تحوا ده دنیا و احمل ها This is the whole poetry and I, I, re, I myself enjoy from the rhythm and style. Forget about the meaning. I myself. But what I wanted to... Okay. Fine. <laughs> 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 
حافظم کار نیم کلمه کم میارم دیگه اصلا دیگه کار نیم نه خودم میگه که این مریضم هستم دیگه نمیکشم حافظ this is from حافظ this is this is the first قزل of حافظ دیوان first قزل of حافظ دیوان No, what what I was going to read it, but I forgot was this one, this verse. شب تاریک و بی به موج و گردا بی چونین هایل کجا دانن حال ما سبکباران ساحل ها The dark midnight, fearful waves, and the tempestuous whirlpool. کجا دانن حال ما How can he know of our state? White Port's house is on Latin cheese. Oh. No, no, it's not a good translation. <laughs> <laughs> he says, he says, this is, he says, we are, I am living in the midnight, dark midnight. There is the fear of the waves. Yes. We are in the ocean. I am in the ocean. Koja don and hale mo sabok baran sahel. Those who are in the, those who are living on the ports, how can, how can they understand what is our states, what we are feeling, what we are thinking? The point about, was this, about this word, sabokbaran sahid ha. Sabokbar means healthy people. <laughs> it doesn't mean healthy people, it refers to healthy people. It says, the, how, how can healthy people understand what is going on in our minds? <laughs> so, sabok bar uh, means uh, uh, one who have light. Big it out. He's bar to me. She sabok bar. No, no, light sabok sabok. Me she light like a. Like burden, like like um, light, light means not heavy. Who are the sabok bar? Yani. Um, bagesham is not very light. Heavy laden is light laden. Those who are light laden. Mullah Sadra used to read Hafiz. It, it, a very nice thing about Mullah Sadra is that there is a manuscript of his, his uh, handwriting of Masnavi. His handwriting of Masnavi. At the Safavid period, it was usual that people made a, a selection of Masnavi in their handwriting and they used to take it with themselves. این خیلی زیباست این خیلی زیباست and look at the last verse حضوری گر همین قاهی از او قایب مش و حافظ this term of حضوری is the one that you will find in علم حضوری حضوری گر همین قاهی از او قایب مش if his presence you seek it's a good translation حافظ then why yourself eclipse no why you are so absent from him? Mata ma talqa. The last part is in Arabic. Mata ma talqa man tahwa da'id dunya wa ahmilha.
کمک باشه خواهش میکنم الحمدلله Good conclusion. <laughs> Completely philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> to have Dr. Professor Dr. Pazuki among us and he finished with good, you know, good end. Good, good end. end. Happy end. end. Uh, happy end. Happy end. With half bits of Shiraz. The taste of Mundasarumi. <laughs> 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 uh, and thank you very much.